Hi and welcome to the Ricky's Drawer channel. I'm Ricky and today's subject is animation. This video is a complimentary information for the Clip Studio Paint art tip that I did. You can check it out, the link in the description. And today we are going to do it live, <laughs> almost live, but I will be drawing at the same time as I'm speaking. So let's give a different approach to the uh, animation here. Okay, so I'm going to close this timeline bar and we're going to open a new file. But we are not going to start with an animation setup. We're going to start with an illustration setup can be a5. Well, let's see. The first thing we're going to do is establish a ground line. And you can do straight lines by holding the shift key. I have the shortcut here assembled to the U key. I hit U and then I click and drag. Since we are holding the shift key, it locks on angles. This will be our ground layer. And we're going to create another a new one, an empty one, to do the, the walking animation. So I'm going to start here. Uh, let, let me see. Let's start with the legs, maybe one in the front. And the, the feet will be around here. And you can move. That's the beauty of the digital art. You can move it. Your you're drawing around. So the, the next leg will be here and the feet will be hitting the ground. Something like this. Try to avoid details at this stage because we are we're sketching, having ideas and making changes as we go. Maybe I'll add some curve to the line. So it's going to be a cartoonish approach. This one goes back. This one goes up. And here we got the upper body now. I'm gonna do some kind of box. And since the this leg, let, let's say that this is the front one, okay? Let's do like this. So if this one is on the front, the arm on the same side will be at the back. So I'm gonna do something like this. And we can always adjust hope everything goes okay. I'm gonna do the, the back leg here and since this leg is on, it's behind, the arm will go forward. This is very important to have the, the silhouette and add the head now here. And there we go, we have here, well you can call it the frame one, you can call it the keyframe one, I like to call initial action, initial movement from the action and you guys are gonna see this as we go. I'll do some quick adjustments here, maybe change a little the size and, and approach this here. That's the anchor point, but that's okay. So now we're gonna do the second frame or the second drawing. I like to call it the final movement. I'm going to duplicate this layer. You can see that it's here. It's a different layer. And I'm going to hide for now the layer one. We can call it one if you want. You can call this two. But it, it doesn't work like this. It, it works. You guys will see as we go. This is the final movement. And for this particular drawing, we are just gonna change the position of each arm and leg. So this one was behind, now will be in front. So to do this, we can make a, a line here and we can delete the middle intersection here, the middle part. To give the impression that the other arm is behind, we're gonna add a line here, we can delete this one and add some shadow to it. And the idea is the same. Since this arm is behind, we will push this leg forward by doing this. And 
and we can change here the position of the head selecting with the lasso hitting ctrl t changing the anchor point to the front and making a slight rotation you can always bring it back a little and there we go so we can drag this layer to to the side and you can see we have here two different movements there's only one main movement for this action it is the middle section something that we're gonna add here and then we can call them keyframe one this will be keyframe two and the second drawing will be keyframe three to do so let's erase this and let's also change the canvas size. Go to edit, change canvas size. Because our, our file is way bigger than we need it. I'm gonna move him back where he was. And we are going to create a new animation folder. Go into animation, new animation layer, animation folder. Notice that it's the, the symbol is different from a regular folder. It must be an animation folder and we're gonna call our timeline. And build a new timeline, it can be 24 frames hit OK and now we can drag our drawings to the folder remember that when we were animating at the art tip everything was inside the animation folder we can bring new objects as well so I'm gonna take frame uh, layer 1 and layer 2 bring it here and we can assemble these layers to specific cells can move here this this red thing and something very important you can right click to have access a quick access to all the specified frames creating between new animation cell it helps a lot the process but you need to make sure that you're hitting the right click under the new animation folder it doesn't work for example if i go to where the ground is the ground layer is if i hit with the right click here notice that it has only these options it doesn't have the specifics attributes that you can find in an animation folder so we're gonna assemble to frame one the first drawing that we did it was the initial movement and here we can assemble the second movement the second movement that we did it isn't keyframe 2 it is keyframe 3 as we saw that we needed in between so what we can do in this situation we can create a new animation cell you can do this by right clicking new animation cell or you can hit this button so now we are going to move the drawing two to the right position that is keyframe three assemble two and this will be assemble three by turning on the onion skin we'll be able to see the first drawing and the second drawing it's the first one it's the blue line and the second one it's the green line we're gonna do an in-between movement I'm gonna draw something quicker here maybe speed a little in the process so this video will not get way bigger so now that we have this guy here we need to assemble it as the fourth frame as well because the idea of looping is to make the first action matches the final 
And as you can see, this frame and this one are variations of the same animation. We need to match this with this. I don't know if it makes sense, but let's do it. Because if we play now, look how we, it's gonna looks on the overall. Oh, by the way, we need to bring this guy here. So we're gonna play only these frames. To make a correction to this, we bring this guy a little just here. We click at the empty cell and got a new animation cell. And to this animation cell, we you can do another drawing. So don't make this video larger that, than it already is. Gonna assemble the frame three. Get the blue line here to make sure that it's gonna loop only this section. So let's hit the start button again. And as you can see, you got this character moving. You can now work on the in-between frames, doing the same technique of specifying a new frame. And as you can see, if you don't like to work under this system where you don't have too, too much control over the layers here, you can make the animation here and then import to the, the animation folder and just assemble each frame in the specific position. Well, that's it for today. I hope this helped you somehow. This is how I do my quick animations when I'm doing studies and mini projects. If you like this video, share with your friends and I see you in the next one.